Mom and dad have been watching all over while I'm gone. Hey, buddy boy. Hey, what's up? Buddy? You been good? Well, guys, week two. And uh, just got gas up. We're gonna pump up the tires in the van and I'm off to Halifax or wherever. I really don't know. I'd like to be in Halifax tomorrow. If I was to tell you. Got my combo. Dan McDonald's advertising. For some of your time. In just a couple of hours. Was a long day driving. It's 2 p.m. here in Moncton. On the road I saw two deer and two moose and about a gazillion potholes. Can't wait to sleep. I'm gonna pass out hard. We got some cool lighting going on right now. <laughs> Just got to the good life here in Moncton. I got about six hours sleep in the hotel. I slept pretty good, I feel rested. Going to Halifax today. Drinking the grossest coffee I've ever had from a hotel. Yeah. Oh, this is so gross. Oh, I only get measured today. It's just, it's beautiful here in Moncton today. So sunny out, not a cloud in the sky. Spending some time in Halifax. It's so nice out, I'm gonna go longboarding. I'm gonna take this opportunity. Got a dinner date in Halifax. Scott Clements, my radio guy. He uh, pushes my song to radio, keeps me informed, charting position. He does all the behind the scenes work. He set the tour up, keeps me busy. Thank you, Scott. I'm gonna pour this coffee out. It's gross. Sorry to salute you with this gross ass coffee. Finally hit Nova Scotia. Yeah, just heading to Halifax. Gonna go longboarding. I'm looking forward to this. Love being here on the East Coast. Nova Scotia is so pretty. I'm just pulled over now. I'm gonna eat quick. And then uh, continue on about an hour and a half out. It's a good day. Pretty sweet in downtown Halifax and it's beautiful out. Yeah, see that? And I uh, finally get to get it to the longboard. Ready to rock. So do you record in Nashville or do you record in Canada? We recorded Jean Jacket and Can I Sue Night in Vancouver. All right. And, oh, okay. Uh, yeah. Again, not a city I perceive as being a <laughs> country. I'm a sucker for blues, too. All right. All blues, right. electric Well, you and I are going to get along great. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now that you're at this point in your career, you've done some opening for some other artists, you're working on uh, a couple of singles, you're working on a, on a full-length album or an EP or whatever the case might be, what are you doing in the future besides this radio visit today? Um... We're still continuing to really hone in our live show. Um, I want to have a solid one hour show. <laughs> so are the musicians you work with now, they're all Kingston based? Yeah, so they're all buddies of mine that I've known for years. And like, I'm not just grabbing any musicians I can, they're good yeah. musicians. My drummer is actually my brother. When people leave a show, we want them to think, where is this guy playing next? Yeah. We have to see him again. All right, great attitude, I love yeah. it. Go ahead Kyle, we want to hear your new song, it's called, Can I See You Tonight? Yeah. All right. <laughs> If you won't ask me If I'm leading you on All right, I love that song. <laughs> and, uh, we've given it some airplay, but uh, that's a beautiful ballad. I love Thank it. You. I really Thank do. you so much. Uh, we hope this is not your one and only visit to Cape Breton Island. <laughs> I hope not either. It's beautiful. Yeah. This is the only radio station I get right now. up some French country. Yeah. Love it. I'm just back in Halifax and uh, meeting up with Tanya. Tanya's always on my social media, so uh, she's she's awesome. What's going on, Tanya? Just hanging out. <laughs> I found you. <laughs> Wouldn't be a visit to Halifax without seeing Tanya. Uh, ice creams. That's good stuff. Yeah. Awesome stuff. <laughs> I want a t-shirt. And now, we got, look at all this. We got three jean jackets I'm leaving with and two t-shirts. It's a good day. <laughs> Just had dinner with Matt Kerrigan. We stayed at Dirty Nelly's. It was really good. Whoa! 
Hey guys. <laughs> Matt's literally driving me around the block to my car. Uh, welcome, got an artist with us today here at Country 100.7, a guy by the name of Kyle Dunn. Yeah, it's my first time down here in Bridgewater. Oh, welcome. It's amazing, thank so, you. I, didn't really, I haven't really cruised around yet, but we will yeah. afterwards, I'm sure. So you get yeah, it was a long drive on Saturday. So I stayed in Moncton for the night and okay. then came down to Halifax, but yeah, I love driving. Do you? Oh yeah, like so, why, why fly when I can drive? But now do you drive in style or do you drive no. stuff like I drive? No, I drive a Dodge Caravan. Okay. That's Are not. you cooler, cooler than I am? <laughs> Got a 76 pickup. <laughs> That's pretty sweet. A little bit worn in, like a classic car. There's something timeless setting you apart. The, that, the inspiration for that came from... Literally, me driving around. I was always trying to think of ideas of songs to write. Yeah. And around the time I was wearing a jean jacket like crazy, and I thought, no one's... Written a song with a damn jean jacket. <laughs> so Aaron Pollock and I wrote it. Yeah. And then uh yeah, had it ready for release and within a few weeks Teb had released Denim on Denim and that scared the crap out of me. <laughs> we just had to stop for uh breakfast. So that's the show. Hot Country 1035 joining me this week for the hot discovery. He's back again. Love having this guy in studio. <laughs> I just keep Kyle Dunn. Oh, my man, and I gotta know. Yeah, gotta know. Can I see you tonight? Yeah. What brings you back to the East Coast? I love the East Coast, man. Yeah. I yeah. mean, yeah, I wouldn't do a radio tour, I don't think, if I couldn't go to the East Coast. <laughs> now, uh, what are you taking in on the East Coast while you're here? Um, we were just down in Bridgewater. Yeah. Uh, I've been out to Sydney. It was the first time I've ever done the whole Cape Breton thing. Um, just being busy. Yeah. It's hard to kind of sit back and relax. Ate at Dirty Nelly's oh, last nice. night, so I, <laughs> it was an interesting place. Yeah, and uh, yeah, just being at the waterfront. I went longboarding yesterday at the waterfront too. How was so that? It was good. Yeah, yeah, a little hard in some of the wood spots. But <laughs> I had a big fall like a week or two ago, and oh, I no. fell on my arm, and I'm still recovering from it. But um, yeah, so I mean, we're so busy when we're down here, you don't get a ton of time to kind of enjoy everything. But uh, you get to eat well. Yeah. That's a big thing. Nice. So, oh, what did you think of Cape Breton your first time being there? It was nice. Yeah. It was beautiful. I drove through at night, the, oh, okay. the night so, but I got to drive the next day. Yeah. It sucks that I drove through at night because it was Sunday, and that yeah. was a beautiful day. Yeah. It was so sunny. Well, at least you got to experience some of it. It just yeah. means you'll have to come back. Next exactly. Summer. Oh, baby, you some magic. Bad jean jacket. The Hot Country 1035 studio. We get to know a little bit more about Kyle Dunn. Amazing. I'm just kind of scared for this. <laughs> what do you got? What game or movie universe would you most like to live in? Mm. Grand Theft Auto? Grand Theft Auto? <laughs> okay, that's going to be my answer. Scott took me out to Deluxe. Classic here, Maritime. <laughs> here in Juro, so it's my first stop. This is ridiculous. These fries are amazing. Rested. This is this is like our it's like quarterly deal. I don't know. It feels like you've been here a lot and I love every time you come in. It's great. Yeah, this is the fourth time, which is I, I truly have like a soft spot for East Coast. I really do. Well, we have a soft spot for you. Uh now. <laughs> Is the voice because you've been singing a lot, or did you go and find a kitchen party somewhere last night? No, you <laughs> no, I've been staying in trouble to be honest. The uh, I just I was on my laptop most last night, just editing some video and stuff, and uh, I don't know, it's just so dry. I don't know what it is. I'm a huge Trump party fan though. I mean, he's got like some almost moves. Uh, I'm gonna spit it over my water. <laughs> Freezy. My mom's a dental assistant, and she uh. I hate when I use my teeth to open anything. Oh, yeah, she cringes. She probably, if you did it right now, wherever she is, she'd have a little. Oh, she'd punch me through whatever cameras we got yeah. going right now. Yeah. Kyle, <laughs> Kyle's using his teeth on something. I feel it twinge. I, I love. Going I've to never this. had a cavity. You know that? Neither have I. 
Wow. Do we just become best friends? I pre-made all my meals for the week and put them in a cooler in my van. And I forgot to put ice in one day and it all went bad. I was like Tuesday. Amazing. I love it. Somewhere along the way. All set? Yeah. Kyle Dunn in with us today. How you doing, man? I'm doing awesome. Good, good, good. Now it's been a bit since we saw each other. Last time you were down here, I wasn't here. I think if I recall, <laughs> Yeah, that's right too. I wasn't here, but I'm here this time. So that is good. That's yeah. a very good thing. How have things been going lately? Amazing. Yeah, things have I've been I've been working with a new circle of people, so it's been a game changer for myself. Yeah. And uh that's the hard thing. You gotta do a lot of time in this industry before you can kinda get to these people and work your way up. So Absolutely. It's been sometimes great. a change is is all you need. Oh yeah. Yeah, can I see tonight? Yeah. The uh, was a song I co-wrote with Aaron Pollock in Calgary, um, Mike Little and Chris Burns, the Roadhammers, and uh, Mike Little. We produced it. He produced it in uh, Abbotsford, BC. Cool. Amazing. Thank you for having me. <laughs> I, I truly like East Coast is awesome. Yeah. It was the first radio tour I ever did. Was it really? Didn't even tackle Ontario first. Everyone asked me, "Well, you drove the whole way here?" And I'm like, "I love it. Like, I love seeing everything on the way." And, I'm losing my voice, it's so dry here. Uh, I'm just stopping at McDonald's for my happy day. It's awesome. And then I'm heading back to Ontario. It's a long trek, so gotta be in Ottawa Friday. Quebec City's looking like a good place to stop for the night. And then uh, I'll continue on. Love driving. I'm tired, I'm super tired. <laughs> McDonald's always hits the spot though. Oh yeah, amazing. Hear how raspy my voice is? I couldn't sing today. It's one of my cool new jackets Tanya helped me buy in Halifax. It's uh, like a beige denim. Damn you McDonald's, too good. My man's a mess. There's stuff all over the place. Yeah, I just stopped in Quebec. Wow, I haven't talked in a while, my throat is getting worse. I'm just stopped to get gas here. My back and my butt are just dying. At least it's a beautiful day out. It's sunny, it's a nice drive. So I can't complain too much, it's pretty sweet. The, uh, I pass this area all the time and uh, I never really get to stop and take it in, so this time I decided it's time. Small town Quebec, it's beautiful. I have no idea where I am, to be honest. Some farms back there. Got this really cool bridge. Pretty cool little spot. I won't lie, it looks very different from the highway. <laughs> I think because you're above everything. It's still beautiful down here. But like ahead of me is really cool. Hill? I don't know, is it a hill? It's not really a mountain, it's not like it west. Quebec's gorgeous. Especially when you get into this area here. Just uh, leaving the hotel. I'm in Quebec City. Voices shot right now. But uh, I always like going to Three Brewers. It's uh, up around Old Quebec. And uh, it's a really great spot to eat. They got uh, chicken and waffles. I think I get it every time we pass through. Can't stop now. Literally the best thing ever. God damn, that's good. Get a look at this though. This is beautiful out here. Pretty sweet. Let's hope the van's not towed. I didn't know what the parking meter said. I'm not really good at French. Sweet, you think I'm good? Safety first. We did Christmas here, uh, Caitlin's family and I, uh, two years ago, and uh, when it's it's definitely one of my favorite cities. Love coming here, ain't chance to get. I stop here. I say that about a lot of cities. This is this is one of the top ones, definitely. Uh, and I had a cold. I feel like crap. Check out it's not until noon, so I'm gonna see if I can get some rest and. Have this go away. But I got nothing to do today. It's my day off. 
just perfect timing. I gotta spend the day in Ottawa. I don't even know what I want to do yet. I found a plan for this. Just to do this. <laughs> Let's do this. Kick this cold ass. What's up? Cool hairdo. Yeah. Um, Sora across the street just came over and brought cupcakes. They smell amazing. Have you ate one yet? No, she just left right now. She's so nice. I mean, sick sucks. I just want to rest, get better. Got a lot ahead of me. I'm excited. The new music video is coming out this week, uh, Thursday. And, uh, it turned out really cool. Luki did an amazing job of it. And, uh, can't wait for you guys to see it. It's gonna be good. Feeling better today. Just woke up and feel half decent. Might go down to the Byward Market, grab breakfast some more. Just gotta book a flight to Calgary for Sunday. I don't have to be at New Country 94 until 3, so I got some time to kill. It's only 9 o'clock now. I just showered and stuff, so I feel refreshed. It sucks. It's training like crazy. I should have just called Nuber. <laughs> what an idiot. It's doing good. It's killing some time at the radio center. The coffee. It's really people watching. I love people watching. <laughs> it's the best. People are funny. Just finished up at New Country 94. Rebecca and Dana. Didn't take any video. Don't know why. <laughs> I get to spend the next two nights with Caitlin. But I'm flying out west. It was a great week. The, uh, lots of cool things going on. I'm really looking forward to what's ahead. I'm home!